Welcome to ECCB Connects, a production of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, designed to share with you who we are, what we do, and how we serve you. I'm your presenter, Karina Phillips Somersault. This week, it's all about the young people and a chance to learn about managing money while winning prizes in an exciting investment contest. What does this competition involve and how can you participate? Yuluka Armony Brown of the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange sits down to discuss all the details about the second annual Regional Schools Investment Competition. Stay connected, we'll share more with you after this break. ECCB Connects is the official handle of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. How do you know it's the ECCB? All posts and reactions made by the ECCB on social media will carry the username ECCB Connects and feature this profile picture. Other pages with the name Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, such as these, are not official pages. Like, subscribe, and follow us today. You'll know it's the ECCB by this profile pic and the handle at ECCB Connects. Hi, you, Luca. Welcome to ECCB Connects. Karina, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange, the ECSC, is gearing up to host the second annual Regional Schools Investment Competition. Uh, you're a part, a very integral part of that organizing committee. If you will tell us about this competition. So the Regional Schools Investment Competition, it's a practical and dynamic learning experience for young people or future investors. Um, the competition targets third through fifth form students as well as first year tertiary college level students. And essentially it exposes students, well, first of all, it provides them with information on investment basics and it exposes them to activity on the securities market and on a regulated securities exchange. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, it's a very exciting. Uh, we had it for the first time last year. We had 29 participating schools across the ECCU region. So we're hoping for more this year. Right. Um, and the winner um, last year was out of St. Lucia um, Viewfort Comprehensive Secondary School. I think the, the name of their group was the VFCSS Invest. So you spoke about um, St. Lucia emerging as the winners. Talk to us about some of the mechanics of the competition. How does it actually work? Um, before I go into that, I just wanted to explain that it's a collaborative initiative. Um, so even though the ECSC is spearheading it, um, we are partnering with the Eastern Caribbean Securities Regulatory Commission. That's the oversight body for the securities market, as well as uh, the ECSC member licensed broker dealers. So namely, um, Grenada Cooperative Bank Limited, Bank of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Bank of St. Lucia, um, we have First Citizens Investment Services, St. Kitts Nevis, Anguilla National Bank, and Bank of Nevis. But in terms of the competition itself and the format, um, there are two phases in the competition. There's an intra-country phase. Um, so this is where, even though all of the schools are competing, um, essentially we are choosing the top performer for each country. So each school, so you have, a, a, if you will, a, a competition at the country level yes. from which you select a winner. Yes. So, for example, if uh, Antigua and Barbuda has five schools participating, um, the top performer for Antigua and Barbuda will then be, will be adjudged the intra-country winner and will then have the opportunity to vie for regional champion. So, essentially, um, the intra-country winners will be representing not only their schools, but their country. Okay, very cool. Very, very prestigious. Yes. And what do the students actually have to do as part of the, the competition? We're talking about investment, uh, I think about trades and stock markets. Right. What do they actually do as part of the competition? For the competition, uh, we're only dealing with uh, equity or com uh, company shares. Mm -hmm. Um, and essentially, um, they will be given a notional amount of $50,000. Um, so that will be some cash, some securities. 
we have fictitious companies um, where we, they will be provided with all the company information in terms of their financial performance, what their strategies are, um, what their share price is, etc. And we also have market news um, coming on every day. So they will be utilizing or not utilizing, it's their choice, uh, what the market news is saying about the industry, about a specific company. They will be looking at the company's um, shares, what, what the direction of the company is to make decisions on which company to invest in in terms of purchasing securities or selling securities uh, and they'll be doing that meeting with their their group and doing that on a every other day basis okay so they're actually managing a portfolio if you will mini stock managers getting out there exactly. getting their hands involved now why is a competition like this important for young people we, we see all different types of ventures happening but why is an investment competition the, the group of us, uh, ECSC and our partners, recognized that we needed to do more, particularly in terms of education and awareness um, um, starting from a very young age. So we thought this avenue would be an exciting way to do that, um, providing them with information about uh, investing, investing versus savings, um, talking about um, what the options are for investing um, in terms of securities in particular, um, participating on a regulated exchange. So we thought having it done in a competition format will be a little more engaging and exciting for the students and hopefully will inspire them to want to learn more and eventually become very active participants in the market. And how do you see uh, investing and young people getting involved in these activities benefiting them in the long term? They will be able to meet their financial goals earlier because um, yes, savings is important and it's a precursor to investing. In order for them to grow their wealth, um, investing is where um, it, it is. Um, and so there are options, yes, real estate and other options, but it's good for them to understand the other opportunities, especially in terms of financial securities, and then how to make wise decisions to be able to meet their goals. Also, um, it's not just for investors, but remember the exchange also provides an opportunity, a platform for businesses as well as governments to raise capital. So for the budding entrepreneurs trying to set up their companies looking for avenues to raise capital, they also get the opportunity to do that. And yes, you're investing and growing your funds, but imagine you're also contributing to the development of your companies in your region and the governments in your region. So what better thing to do than that? It's a win-win situation. Now you, Luca, you've outlined what the competition is about and why it's important. How do the students actually get started and become part of this competition? This year we actually have online registration. Um, so persons will go to the ECSC website, ecsconline.com, and click on the promotional banner, the scrolling banner um, that advertises the competition. And there's all the competition information on the page. Um, on the page is also a link to the registration form. So they'll have click here to register. You can click on register and fill out and submit the form. So that's the way that they can, they can um, register for the program. And the registration is open already. Uh, we've started to promote it. We've notified the ministries of education. We've also been reaching out to the schools directly to let them know about the competition. And so that is available for them. If they would like for the information, of course, they can contact us we offer an education webinar. So the schools competing, um, the students competing will be expected to participate, but it also is open to as many students as possible that the school can accommodate virtually. So for the students com um, competing, we'll have a special um, virtual session for them where we go through the rules and guidance, and then they can also have the opportunity to see clarification before we commence the competition on the 7th of October. So it's not necessarily limited to business students or students pursuing financial um, studies. It, because of the webinars you spoke about, any student can literally get involved in it. Yes, it's open to any student. We are leaving it up to the schools to determine which students they, they'd like to participate. Um, at, at the moment, it's one school per, sorry, one group per school. Mm -hmm. And the, it's a minimum of four students, maximum of six students. And we'd like at least one um, teacher guide to be able to assist them with coordinating meetings, etc. I just like to encourage all the schools to participate. Of course, if you need more information, you can contact us at the ECSC. The information page is on the website, ecsconline.com. 
Um, we like to see more persons and more students exposed to this type of experience. And so we look forward to everybody coming on board. There'll be special prizes to be won, of course. The intra-country winners, they'll receive a plaque in recognition of their win to showcase at their schools. Each of the participating students and teachers will receive a gift bag as well as a certificate of achievement. In terms of the overall regional champion, they'll receive a championship trophy. The school will receive a monetary prize of $5,000 and each of the students will receive a cash prize of $150. Now, what are the timelines involved in the actual competition? First phase, which is the intra-country phase, is about a two-week timeline. Um, we've spread it out a little bit this year um, to give more time for the brokers to communicate their confirmation of trades and to also make it easier for the students. They have a little more flexibility in time to meet because, you know, sometimes it's a little hard to coordinate, especially if the students are in different classes. Um, so we spread it out a bit. So we're having trading days every other day. So it's about a two-week run for the first phase. And then once the winners are announced um, and in terms of who will be moving on to the regional, to buy for regional champion, then it's another about another two-week period in November. Okay. So come November, we expect to hear who this year's winner of the investment competition will be. Certainly. Ayuluka, thank you so much for discussing with us about the regional investment competition. We look forward to hearing the results later this year. Thank you, Karina. And now for this week's financial tip. Always contact or update your financial advisor in the event of any material change to your financial status that they may adequately guide you on best management or provide solutions for managing the change in your financial status. That's it for this program where we've been discussing the second regional schools investment competition, an exciting chance for young people all across the ECCU to get involved in investing while winning exciting prizes. For all the contest details, be sure to visit the ECSE's website. The information is on your screen. Thanks so much for watching and join us next week when we bring you another episode of ECCB Connects.